Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how you can record audio inside of DaVinci Resolve using one of your microphones. So if you're not already on the Fairlight tab, go ahead and move over to there. So if you're looking at the bottom of the screen, the Fairlight tab is the one with the music notes, second from the right. So click on that. You may of course see some of your audio tracks that already exist in your timeline. So in the event that you have audio tracks that already have data and you do not want to overwrite that, you can right click below your audio tracks and do add track and you're probably going to want stereo, so it's two-channel audio. And doing that will give you a brand new audio track to record on. I like to separate my different audio channels based on the type of information it is, so audio track one will usually be the original source audio from the video, and I might have audio two for voiceover narrations, audio three for sound effects, and maybe audio four for music, so on and so forth. So in order to take this audio track two and queue it up for recording, we need to add a input device. So over on the mixer, which you can open up in the top right if it's not already open, you will see uh, under the audio track name, there is a section for input. By default, it will say no input. So we need to click on that and select a microphone. So in order for you to add the input device, it's obviously gonna need to be connected to your computer already, whether that's using a USB. But once it's connected to your computer, driver setup, all that stuff, you can go to input and then choose input from the drop down menu. And that will bring up this patch input output. So the idea here is that with your audio inputs that are already connected to your computer, you want to patch that to a specific output channel. So for instance, I'm using a USB headset here, so I can take my microphone device here and I can patch that to audio left and audio right. Now, depending on the complexity of your setup, you may have multiple input devices showing up over here and you can link those up with whichever audio channels you need to. But here with this very simple setup, I'm using one microphone to be both the audio left channel and the audio right channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and patch that. So if we hover over track input now, you should see which audio input device, the USB microphone, is set to be the new audio input device. So with that, we can close it and we should see the name of that microphone show up here for input as well. So once you have your input device, I would say in many cases, you may want to add in a noise reduction effect. So if you click on the effects, you can do Fairlight effects and go down to noise reduction here. And with noise reduction, you can put it in auto speech mode. And what this will do is while you're actually recording, it will in real time remove some of the background noise as it writes that audio information to your audio track. So by doing this while it's recording, you don't need to worry about it later. If you also want to add in any other audio effects, you're welcome to do that. VST plugins are also an option if you have any of those installed. So the next thing I'm going to do is mute the project right below the video preview window here. Uh, because while we're recording, I don't actually want to hear the audio playing back. If you want to hear the audio, like you have headphones on and you want to be able to hear everything, then you can leave this unmuted. But in this case, I don't want to hear the audio as I'm recording it because I find that pretty distracting. So once the project's muted, I'm going to go down to where it says audio 2 down here and hit the R for recording. You should immediately see audio bars appear. So as long as you don't find your audio peaking at zero, uh, you should be okay. I might actually lower this down a bit. So I'm gonna take this slider bar and I'm gonna lower it down probably till when my audio on average reaches about negative 10. Generally around here, I find to be a pretty decent audio level to record at. As long as it doesn't peak at zero though, uh, you shouldn't lose any audio information and you can always adjust it later on if you need it to be more or less quiet. So once we hit the record button, it's going to start recording audio until we hit stop. So I, if I want to start recording, I can simply hit record here. Wow, what an amazing night sky to look at. It's definitely not a time lapse or anything like that. The sky definitely rotates that fast in real life. So you should have been able to see that while I was recording, it was writing into a new audio clip and it's read while it's recording. But once you hit stop, it turns green like normal audio clips and you can expand it a bit in order to see the audio information. So now before I unmute the project to hear it back, I'm gonna uncue the audio track two for recording and we can unmute the project now, hit play and hear our audio recording again. Wow, what an amazing night sky to look at. It's definitely not a time lapse or anything like that. The sky definitely rotates that fast in real life. So of course, if you want to do multiple takes, you can always delete the old information Requeue the timeline and then try again. So that's going to be it for this quick video on the basics of doing audio recording inside of DaVinci Resolve. And in another video, I want to get more into automatic dialogue replacement. And this tool that you can use 
uh, would allow you to set up specific timings for a line that a character in your video might say. So for instance, you can queue up a line from zero to five seconds where someone needs to say an intro to the video and you can have the recording automatically start and stop at those in and out points. But putting that aside for now, that's the basics of how you add a microphone in for DaVinci Resolve, queue it up for recording, and record some audio to your timeline that you can use in your video, all from within DaVinci Resolve 16. So I've been Chris, I hope this video on audio recording has helped you guys out a little bit, and I will see you guys in my future video content.